Good evening to all of you, senators, ambassadors, Deputy Secretary Negroponte, and very, very distinguished guests. Uh, and there are many human rights champions and activists who are here in this room today. We welcome you to the Ben Franklin Room and the State Department. It is truly our pleasure to host this reception with the Board of Directors of the National Endowment for Democracy in honor of Ambassador Max Campbellman's lifetime achievement in advancing the principles of freedom, human rights, and democracy. And we want to thank uh, NED's Chair, Vin Weber, and its President, Carl Gershman. Thank you. We are really honored to be in partnership with you this evening. The attendance of so many accomplished individuals at this event really speaks volumes about the inspirational impact that Max Campbellman has had on so many of us. In particular, I would like to welcome Senator Joseph Lieberman, House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Howard Berman, Congressman Norman Dix, Congressman Tom Petrie, former Senator Paul Sarbanes, the head of the Library of Congress, Dr. James Billington, and I'm also very pleased to announce that uh, we'll also be joined a little bit later by the White House Chief of Staff, uh, Josh Bolton. And finally, I, I really want to especially give a very, very hearty welcome to the members of the Campbellman family who are here tonight, Max's son, daughters, and all of your grandchildren. We're very, very pleased to have them here. And thank all of you for being here. Ambassador Campbellman began his career as a lawyer. He also worked as a legislative assistant to Senator Hubert Humphrey. And it was in 1980, while practicing as a private attorney, that President Carter asked Ambassador Campbellman to represent the United States in Madrid as ambassador and as the U.S. head of delegation to then the Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, CSCE, thereby formally launching his career in international diplomacy. President Reagan later reappointed Max to this position, which he held until 1983. Well, he subsequently served as ambassador and head of the U.S. delegation to CSCE, the Copenhagen Conference, on the human dimension in June 1990. And I mention this to all of you because it was during that time period that I had the great honor of first meeting you and working formally with you. And it was indeed as a Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Human Rights and Humanitarian Affairs and later as a Deputy to Ambassador Campbellman that I did have this very distinct honor to serve under Ambassador Campbellman. I worked with him as he negotiated a comprehensive framework for securing human rights and fundamental freedoms which was known in CSCE parlance as the human dimension and securing such freedoms within the CSCE constituted a milestone in the history of human rights protection. For the first time, human rights principles were included as an explicit and integral element of a regional security framework on the same basis as political, military, and economic issues. As a witness to this historic process, I can attest to Max Campbellman's absolute dedication to human rights and to his artful and very talented negotiating skills. He was truly an inspiration to me and has been an inspiration to me as he has been to many others. He embodies the absolute best of American diplomacy. I can say to you that since that time I've had the privilege and great honor of working with him in many capacities on democracy and human rights issues. I can think of no more deserving recipient of the NED Democracy Service Medal than Max Campbellman. Max, I want to tell you it's an honor, honor to be here with you tonight and congratulations on receiving this award. I'd now like to formally turn the podium over to NED Chair Vin Weber who is going to be tonight's MC. Welcome Vin Weber. <laughs> 